Hello everybody, my name is Ray, welcome back to Bloodborne. We're still in the Nightmare Frontier. Can I kill you here? I want I want to shoot you. I said I want to I want to shoot you. Damn it. Let's line up perfectly. It doesn't let me. It also doesn't let me lock on to him. So it, the game doesn't recognize him as an enemy. Oh, f screw you, man. Really? Oh, I'm, I'm, this is, this is, of course, this, this is a trap. You can see this. this is so obvious. Oh my God, this is too obvious, man. You should have made it more of a trap. Can I actually fuck up his to Hey! Hello! I didn't even know you were there. Can I screw up his trap by, you know, sh going another way around and shooting him? I guess not. Okay, this goes back down here, which is a place I don't want to go to. Is there a treasure over there? It did seem like it was glowing. I don't think so. But there's definitely treasure over there. Over there. Over there. Yeah, okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, he's on the same level as the water. So probably have to run through over the land to get to him. Ooh, there are the there are the masts again. Cool. So where's the oh there's the whole building, huh? Nightmare Frontier is smaller than I thought. If this is everything, though, I am pretty sure there should be something more, like a that building we saw at the beginning, all the way down there somewhere, all the way down there should be. That should be, in fact, the boss fight then, I guess. Shall we just go down here, see what this trap is all about? Yeah, this way, to witness a miracle. You, you can see all the glowing parts. These are coins, by the way, shining coins. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. In the <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Do I have to go this way? No. I have to go this way. Oh my god, this is gonna be so bad. This is gonna be so bad. Hold on, hold on. Fifty three poison resistance. I'm gonna put on this just to have more poison resistance. Stop throwing shit at me.
There we go. I'm um, gonna quickly change my outfit into full white church attire to get rid of the... Well, not to get rid of it, but to have more poison resistance. I don't think it will work though. Damn it. Well, I just have to wait then. Wait it out. Well, that was certainly an interesting thing. What you just witnessed was patches from Dark Souls. Wow, what a surprise. He's, such, he's just as much as an asshole in Dark Souls as he is in this game. Uh, but yeah, that's who he is. Oh, wait, did I use... Um, trust Arcanes. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's Patches. Happy little fella. We'll find him. And we'll, we, I will kill him when I find him. Don't worry about that. I will kill him. I will stab him. Look at all these. It's only one of the cold blood that they drop. But they do drop the cold blood. Which is a lot of stuff. Partially summon Ibritas. Hmm. Remnant of the Eldritch Truth encountered and Bergenworth. Use phantasms to invertebrates known to be ogre, ogres of the Great Ones. They partially summon abandoned abritas. The initial encounter marked the start of an inquiry into the cosmos from within the old labyrinth and led to the establishment of the choir. So they found this thing? Or... The Augur of Abritus or Abritus itself? I think Augur of Abritus means something like a child or something. But this is all slimy thing. Remnant of the Eldritch Truth encountered at Bergenworth. So the Eldritch Truth was encountered at Borg Bergenworth. And people go went cray cray. And this is what's left of it? Hmm. To partially summon abandoned Abritus. Okay, so I can summon him using this item. That's cool. Is that... wait, hold on. This is, oh, this is S class arcane and an 18 arcane needed. I want to try that. Just... Uh, how much... wait, how much Quicksilver does that... does that use? It uses one Quicksilver bullet, okay. It has an S-class scaling though, so it should be pretty powerful. What does this do? Oh! Oh! That's cool! That's the tentacle attack! <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god, that's great. That's absolutely great. I have myself a tentacle attack. Oh, that one went right into the camera. That's that's cool. So the only thing I need is what's left. Okay, so Patches is not here anymore. Good. The last thing that I need... Oh, wait. Is Patches supposed to be here? I don't know. Whatever. Um... Do you guys remember the video that I did when I was killing the hunter at Bergenworth? The one that was putting her hands up in the air and started shooting some blue lasers of doom? Yeah, that's... that's I heard that from a friend who has platinum trophied this game that you can get that as an... as a weapon. I am very happy man if i can get that weapon because that was one of those attacks that totally a hundred percent fucked me up 
Are you gonna fuck me over again, Patches? Because I swear if you do this again, I will. Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Here. Hold on. Oh, come on. I can see you there, you piece of shit. Um. Okay, that. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, wait, that's, that's going nowhere. He's still hanging there like a total asshole watching. Okay, I did not expect this to be in the poison, however. I thought that he was just dumping me down to the, to where I was before. That I had to run all the way back here. But apparently he just dumped you down into Poison River. Thank you, Patches. Such an asshole. Huh. Let's see, there was still an item that I couldn't get to. In a, in a cave of some sort? Wow, oh, man. Where am I? Where is this even going? Oh! Yes, that's what I mean. I, I, I actually meant this particular corpse. Specific corpse. So how do I get there now? Do I have to go... Over there, or I have to go over there. Either way, I'm fucked because I don't have antidotes left. You know what I can do? Jumping down quickly here. I can try to avoid the poisoning. We're running through the land over there. I do need to change my outfit then to the white church. And specifically white church because it has the highest defense against poison. Not particularly the highest defense against the rapid poison I think. No it does have highest resistance against rapid poison. No wait. No it doesn't. Tomb Prospector is better in Rapid Poison, apparently. Black Church is also better, but it's lower. I, I need to slow poison. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. And... Oof. Don't think so, you fuckhead. <gasps> no! I had to go here. And now I died. Well, that sucks. This one is kind of my own fault. I jumped into the rock. Uh, we'll do a little bit, just a little bit, to get some echoes. That's the primary function right now. What do I? Can I even go down here? Because it looks like I can go down there. There's an item over there. There's an item over there. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This looks a lot like the Poison River shit, with a cave going probably a little way going there wouldn't oh my god i think 
that place down there leads to down there where the guys were where I just died I think I just literally died like maybe a hundred feet away from the boss fight I do find it interesting that I can see the masts from here uh, and when I go do the DLC and we go actually to the masts down there because that's the fishing hamlet where you go to in the DLC um, because you have the Hunter's Nightmare, then you go to the the clock tower, and at the top of the clock tower you go to another place, and that's close to the fishing hamlet, as if I'm correct on that. But that means there should be a lake down there. Point is, basically, I should be able to see this nightmare frontier from the, the fishing hamlet. I should be able to see it, because I can see the, the masts of the ships from here. And I can see the building over there. So what if I go to that building at some point in the game, and I can see the Nightmare Frontier from here? That would be really cool, if that's the case. And I would really love it when that would be the case. Also, I am pretty sure I will go back to the... I'm pretty sure I will go back to the uh, lecture hall of the school of, of that school building. School of nothing, I guess. I don't know. That lecture hall seemed to be a little bit too small to be part of the game, you know. I'm pretty sure it would be bigger. But they just wanted me to go to the nightmare frontier first and then from here I probably have to go to the lecture hall because hm. I went to the lecture hall uh oh hold on yeah because I went to the lecture hall through that the tentacle creature with the six arms and it said like oh amygdala have mercy on this poor bastard soul i'm just thinking that the big guy that transported me here is called amygdala because he brought me here to begin with so i guess the, the person who begged him to have mercy on my soul probably had something to do with this whole idea. Um, uh, what does this exactly do? That's more of a question. Wow! Holy shit, that... that pulsing? I, I want to see what that is. That's the first one I had from this one. Let's see, bolt 7.3... 8.4 that's a high level one. Oh wait that's the one duh that's the one I already had fire blood gemstone 3 and it's level 8 rating 8 I'm looking at the at the rating most of the time but this also shows like 7.3 7.3 a lot of 7.3 6.3 kind of sucks the bolt does not suck because I can use those to make my to make my tonitra stronger. What, what do I had on this one? Um, I had bolt attack up 16.5. You see, that's what I mean. 16.5% attack, bolt attack up. And my other thing was the 8.4 plus the 1 HP recover per second. Everything that they drop now is weaker. So what's the whole point of having these bold and fireblood gemstones? They're all weaker than the ones I already had before. It's so dumb. These ones, the 6.3% damage up. 5.4 damage up slow points in effect. Cursed. Increase stamina cost with 1%, but 8.3% damage up. Ooh. 
Pulsing Blood Gemstone. HP continues to recover plus one. Now that would be nice if it was a plus ten, maybe. Plus one. I have... Hold on, no. Ugh. Yeah, wait. I have a thousand of fifty-one HP. If I almost did, you... You expect me to be, like, waiting for uh, almost 1100 That's almost, like, that's almost 20 minutes. That's, like, 17 minutes or so that I would be waiting to heal myself without using blood uh, vials. Of okay, oh, that would be dumb. Unless I increase that recovery amount, but then again... Eh, what the heck? <laughs> Cruel fate. Okay, this, this is weird. I've never seen this before. Okay. Wow. Okay, fine. Whatever. Sedatives, just for the frenzy. Lead elixir. I don't do this one, by the way. Wait, hold on. No, I do want to try once. I want to see... How much slower am- oh my god, I cannot run. Um, okay. Hmm. Doesn't seem to do much. When does it stop working? I guess I- oh, okay, it stopped. I guess it has more iframes when I start dodging. In the way it's like, it makes me invulnerable. It makes me invincible for like the one, two, or maybe three frames more. I can use this, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, darn. What am I, what am I going to use on that one? This was the antidote, sort of, yeah, no, the Molotovs. You know what, I'm just going to kill a few more enemies, like this guy. This guy's easy, so if I, if I kill this guy. Oh my god, he just... Can you please die? You... If I could kill these two, I will probably have enough to get some more stuff. Hi! I don't think so. Ah. Okay, bust and short. Okay, run, run. Ah. Okay, okay. You got to be shitting me. Okay. No, I I'm not shitting. Cool. Now I need to get the hell out of here. I'm just going to go back to the hunter's dream. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back with the 6, 7k, going to the hunter's dream, get myself some... Um, I'm going to get myself a few antidotes. And a few other things. I like I to repair my weapons after all this. Uh, it's a lot harder to run back than the, to run through the level in a standard way. Which I we know now how to beat this. The hunters are gone. Patches is not much of an issue right now, so I guess everything should be all right. 
I'm still a little, still a little strange that this, that I got here through some sort of weird portal. Well, I mean, I guess whatever. I can just, I can go here and do some stuff. But yeah, we still have to finish Kanehurst too. Which I'm kind of planning on doing after I'm fixing my stuff. It is kind of annoying though, because <laughs> Kanehurst is not really a nice place to be. I don't like the guys at Kanehurst. Acquire items. Oh my god, this is expensive as hell. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use the cold blood. Wow, 5k. That's less. Four and five. How much are you gonna give me, huh? 1200 each. So I guess... This one is 1600? Or 1500? 1500. Cool. Yeah, I got 18k. I'm going to repair my weapons. Check if I got better bloodstone shards. If I bloodstone, yeah, blood gemstones. I mean, derp. Hmm. I have a lot of bl twin bloodstone shards now. <laughs> I can put my torch up, but my torch is absolutely useless at this point. Hmm. Hmm. One thirty, one one forty-three with a B scale, or a one forty-five with an S scale. But blood tinge eighteen. I don't have that yet. I do want to go strengthen an arcane. Obviously, mostly arcane. Obviously. But I do need a pistol, and this one is good. This one is better. Um, I need eight for those. Holy shit, and I got nine left. Um, oh, that's enough to go get this one to plus five. That's actually good, that's fine. There you go. Ooh. Arcane increased by a scaling with C. Hmm. <laughs> I love the blood at the blood tinge uh, scaling is D, so it's really not that good. It's scale. It's skill based though, which kind of sucks because I'm more strength and arcane. But I'm gonna put this one to six. There you go. Wow, that's it. That's 145 now. But it could go to 159 if I level it to plus 7. This one to plus 6 is, is lower and the scaling is out lower, so obviously I'm not going to do that. Um, Repair weapons. Wow, the tinnitus has been wrecked. Let's see what we can fix. One forty-eight. Physical attack up near death. Three point six. Wow. I mean, uh, in, if I'm almost dead, it seems to work out. But I don't really like the idea of being close to death. Especially since there are enemies now that can one-shot me. <laughs> hmm. Same. 7.3% is the same for arcane as for fire. The uh, arcane attack. Fire. Fire! Fire! Ah! Attack up at full HP plus 9. That's nice, but the chance of me having full HP is not that high. So that kinda 
it's, it's kind of useless at that point because my me having full HP only works for maybe two or three enemies and then I am bound to get hit at least once. It was 8.3. This one was 9.1. Cursed. That's sad because that would make me have like add poison effect. Okay. Well. I guess not. It's a 5.3%. Oh, it's a 5.4 and 1.4 poison effect. Okay. Let's increase that damage. Oh, hold on. Thrust. Thrust attack up. Okay. Uh huh. It's a lot of murky blood gems that I have. Hmm. Dumbing down my da damage with 12 points would not be good. Striking. Charge attack 7.2% stronger. At slow poison effect, but losing 17 damage. Oof. Ooh. Attack versus the kin down 4.1%. I can live with that. I don't even know what the kin are. So in that point... I lose... Oh wait, yeah, that's Kin. That snake thingy. I'm not sure what kind of enemies the Kin are. I don't know which enemies are under the name the Kin. But 4.1% damage less on those? I don't really care. I have 8.3 physical strength and damage up. So that's nice. And versus the Kin, it would be 4.2% less. So... If a 4.2% more, so I'm, it's, it's just positive that 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 kin uh, damage down is not affecting that much. Cool. Why was it on this one and not on that one? Or did I just not see it? Whatever. Let's see if there's anything to increase my damage with. 70. So 7.3%. Oh, too much murky, man. This one is also 7.3. Oof. Physical up at full HP. Nope. Maybe this one. This one has 16.5 bolt defense of a damage. Wow, losing 8 points. Ouch. Yeah, physical damage goes up, but the electric damage doesn't. 81. That's 11. Oh, that's 13 damage. 13 damage, but that would be... I lose like 14 bolt attack for that. Let's see, 13 blunt of physical attack, okay, 17, 31, yeah, I would lose 14 bolt attack to gain 13 physical attack, not gonna do that. The writer palash, the pala pala, frost and physical attack only, ooh, this one could do pretty good with the frosting, oh wait, that's, okay. 5.7 Frosting Attack. I could do that. Blood Attack goes down though. I don't really care about the Blood Attack. Seriously, I don't. Oh yes, this was the one with the Physical Attack of 8.4. Damn. 7.3. This one had Thrusting, right? Stamina increase, stamina cost increase. <laughs> I'm I'm always looking around um, like for a million hours to look at something. This is the rapid poison, nine point six. That's a lot. Hmm. Fire attacker? That does not work, I guess. 
Let's see. 8.4. Oh, it's arcane. That doesn't doesn't work. Huh. Huh. Wait a second. 8.4. Physical attack. And the cursed one is 8.3. So I don't even need to use that. Huh. Screw you. Suck on that. Does cost me the, the, the rapid poison though. But hey, whatever. I think I know. These ones have the thrusting, don't they? Do they? No. Where's the thrusting at? Yeah. Those are the thrusting. 6.5. Adapt. Yes, okay. Wow. Okay. It's an even stronger one. I'm gonna take that one then. One thrusting attack less. But also has less, uh, less poison effect. There you go. Nice. Hunt the pistol. Blood tinge scaling doesn't work on that one. Okay, Avalyn. Uh, it is S already, so it doesn't really matter to that. But it does more damage in the end, so. Just want to make it go back to A scaling. Why would I want to do that? Don't think so. I'm done with those. Wait, I need the 10% HP. Uh, this one is Echoes, Vials. Yes, boost HP by 10. That's nice. I think I get another one for the anti-clockwise to get more, to get even more stamina. Blood Rapture? Fizzle attacks, restore HP. Uh-huh. That was that one. Arcane damage, fire damage reduction, bolt damage reduction. None of those need that do I need. I do need the slow poison, rapid poison resistance, and kind of the frenzy resistance. Hmm. More items from fallen enemies. I think this one with the quick silver bullets can go up to f maybe six. Because there would probably be a second form of this one, I guess. Probably the same that goes with all the others. I think you can get more runes than just this. But yeah, getting more echoes, extra blood files, and extra HP would be good. Woo! I'm tankier. Yeah! Uh, what else? Might need some potions here. I don't have any. Ooh. Well, I do have antidotes. That's good. I guess. Yeah. I do have only one bloodstone chunk. That's kind of shitty. Vile blood attire. Huh. I guess that's about it. I should sell some of my blood gemstones. Don't mind me, Dolly. I'm just rolling around. <laughs> they see me rolling. They hating. Yeah. I can get rid of this one, but it's only giving me 10 echoes. It's really, really not worth the trouble. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I don't want that one. I don't want that one either. Those are shit. This one is shit. All of them are shit. <laughs> They're all bullshit. They're all crappy. Uh, these are also very shit. Because they only they add 4.8 points of physical damage, not percentage, just the 4.8 points. So 
Let's go like 4.2, 4.2. This would be a good one if you go for the slow poison build to just poison all of your enemies. Like this one, 3.6 at slow poison effect. That would be a nice one. The striking one, I don't need that. I got three of those. Oh, I got four of those. Oh, I can sell two of them because not many weapons have triangular shapes in them as slots. The arcane one, I don't want that one. I could keep the 8.4. Maybe for someday I want to try that out. The 7.3 is useless. Rapid poison, I want to keep. Just to just for another day sometimes. This one is not needed. Not for me at least. These ones I don't need. Hmm. I don't need those. Eight point four is the only fire blood gemstone I need. Or I may I I'm a, I mean I don't need it, but I want it. I, I, I want to keep that one just for another day. Uh, these two I don't need because I have a 16.4 percent, so 7.3 is absolutely worthless. This one is also 3.1 slow poison effect, which is nice. Blood tinge scaling 9.5. Not really needed because I got the 13.7, but I'm not going to sell it because the circular ones are really rare. Uh, I think that's about it. Well, I want to sell these because I don't need them. I don't use them. Ooh, 400 for lead elixir. Can you? Hey, wait, hold on. Uh. There. And then the beast hand goes, beast roar goes there. All four of my magic attacks are right there. Cool. Got the Yosefka's flask that I still got from the bobbly blue alien. <laughs> Selling the lead elixirs. Yes, I said Lilixers. I got 65 Bloodstone shirt. What? Let's sell a few. Like, I think 30 should be good. I have 35 left, so that's nice. That's a lot, though. That's quite a bunch. I'm a, okay, I got the antidote, so I think I'm gonna spend a few on this there you go i spend a few on this seven that would be nice well I'll just top it off six seven eight i think i can do yes eight nice hmm i do have already ten of those so cool i am prepared to go to canehurst sort off I think. So what do I have now on this one? Yeah, attack versus the kin down. That's the arrow down debuff. Okay. Well. I find it funny that the frontier uh, awaken, awakening stone, headstone, frontier headstone does not include the nightmare frontier. I want to know how much. Home. What yeah, is yeah, it? yeah. Very well. How much do I need? Thirty k to level up. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. What do I even want to upgrade when I get enough? I think I might want to go for the blood tinge. Now it's it's still a little well, cheaper now. So now that this, 
Now that it is still a little cheaper than usual, I could go and do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would like to do it later, but that mean that would mean that I would have to pay like a hundred k for one for level eight to nine blood tinge, because <laughs> it's maybe better if I do it now. And be already a decent strength with strength and scale and my arcane on that skill I have now than to do it later so because I, I kind of want to use the Evelyn at some point which needs 10 levels in blood tinge to even wield it hmm so we're gonna go to forbidden woods just fight a few things just gonna fight a few things, that's all. Gonna get a little bit of uh, echoes here and there. And I'm doing the Forbidden Woods because there are a lot of enemies in there. And they give a lot, they give a decent amount of, uh, of echoes compared to things like, for example, Yahar Ghoul is going to be a massive nightmare because these guys stand back up. I have to fight them over and over and over. And they don't give you extra um, echoes for killing them again. And well, the Nightmare Frontier simply doesn't have enough enemies to, to get me that much. We saw from what I killed, I only got 6.5k, so I would do, have to do that little bit five times over and over and over. And half of my money would go, half of my echoes would go away to the bold hunter's marks that I need to use. So I'm doing this one, because it gives me a decent amount of echoes. Obviously less. But it gives me the chance to like... Oh my god, I want to try it. Well, that sucks. Hi! Ow! I really don't like these guys with their I have one HP left. Look at this, 299 damage. They have 300 HP for sure, because they stand back up with almost no health left. This is one of those things that I hate Bloodborne for. Oh, hello. This is actually, uh, this is really one of the things that I hate Bloodborne for. Having those 1 HP left and a stand back up bullshit. And then they start penetrating you. Hey. This does a considerable amount of damage, that's for sure. It only costs me 1... Hold on a second. I want to see this for myself. Executioner's Glows use 3 bullets, 20 RK needed, and the S class in scaling. S scaling and 18 required. It uses less. 15 required and 15 required, but no scaling. So these do actually scale, but you cannot... They do more damage the more RK you have, obviously. But that's it. They don't scale with anything else, so you cannot upgrade those weapons. It's sad that you can't have an actual weapon with arcane damage. So without having it, without giving it a... Uh, obviously without giving it an arcane gemstone. You need to give it an arcane gemstone in order to, you know get that done.
I love, I do love, like, I only need one, uh, one quick silver bullet per use, and these guys with the guns give you three bullets. Ow! That did hurt. Everybody stop! Hammer time! I don't think so, buddy. Your life has been expired. By my weapons! Okay, so I do 299 damage on all of these guys. Hmm. What if I fight a stronger enemy? Can I do I do 299 damage even an, on stronger opponents? Because if that's the case, then 299 is my maximum damage output with those weapons. Of, obviously, it does depend on if an enemy is weak or not. Because I knew with the executioner's gloves. Um, With the executioner's gloves, is it like some enemies take like 200 damage? Some of them even ow, ow. Some of them even do like 400 damage taking. Like the executioners with the big axes, they take like 400, 500 damage. Wow, these guys are more aggressive than normal. They're a lot more aggressive than usual. Ooh, they're being aggressive. Jeez. Is it, does, it, does it have to do with where I am in the storyline? Because these guys are being... Even the crows are being overly aggressive. This is a damn Hi! Okay, yeah, that was a weaker guy and I did 299 damage. Oh, come on, man. Yep, 299 damage is my maximum output due to my arcane. Okay. So with 30 arcane, you do around almost 300 damage. Oh, that's fine. I wish there was an, uh, a weapon, or at least something uh, like a gemstone that lets you... Um, that allows you to absorb more, uh, like, more HP from hitting an enemy. Like when you're getting hit by an enemy, you lose HP and you can get it back by hitting the enemy in time. I wish there was something that would increase the amount of an uh, HP that you would get back after hitting an enemy. Surely there would be something like that, right? Like just a gemstone that is saying like... When you absorb... that's like absorbing HP by doing damage. Like when dealing damage 1% or 2% of your damage turns it is absorbed as as HP. Cause that would be nice, because in every hit I would get like one percent of my damage HP, which would be Oh 169, so one point six HP per hit. 
it's not a lot, but if you do a lot of hits, it gets better. What's up, dude? a waste of quicksilver bullets. I'm gonna try it on this dude. He obviously has more HP. What's up? 329. Ooh. So he takes a harder hit. So he's weaker against arcane attacks than these regular folks. He is stronger though. Hey! Eat my tentacle! <laughs> oh god, that sounds gross. Ooh, he had less than 299. He has less than 300 HP, so that's an instant kill. Nice. So the weaker enemies are to... to um, the weaker they are to arcane, the more damage I do, obviously. I wonder how much I can do on this dude. I'm a... I will be patient this time, because they are weak against electricity, but I don't want to use my Tenitris, to be very honest. I want to use my Auger of Abritas to wreck this shit. Alright. Come on. You're faster than him, character. Hello! Ow! What the hell is wrong with you? No! What is going on with you? What? Why did he not... Why did he not do his, like, screaming and snake heads popping out of his head? What the hell? I'm confused. Like, why did he not do that? I'm a little confused here. He should be, like, holding his head, like, as if he has a headache, and then scream, and snakes pop out of his head. He should be doing that. Hello. There are the oath of the league. Those who bear its rune will see vermin. Vermin writhe deep within all filth and are the root of man's impurity. All vermin are to be crushed. The league exists to expunge all vermin, ridding us of any trace of human corruption. And so. Until we are rid of all vermin, you must continue to hunt and kill. This bloody fate is ours alone. Do not expect the world to grasp our work. But remember, the Confederates will always have my blessing. And each other. Always. Well, that was an interesting talk. Let's go down to that one dude that has my echoes. None of the change actually move, but minor detail. You don't see that happening when you're moving. It's nice because they make it look like as if the chain is going, but the chain is not moving at all because it's still here. It's nice how they just make it look like. But Jack character mouths are also not moving, so you cannot expect too much. 